Well, good morning, Middleton family. It's just another day with the Middleton family. Oh my gosh. So, he is going crazy. Um, I could show y'all, but she's... Yeah. P, go back to your room, please. Oh my God, the girls are playing right now. Um, cleaned up my house. We went outside, me and Emmy in Oakland, ate breakfast outside. P said it was too hot, so she stayed inside, which is understandable. Um, Emmy played in her little water thing. I put in a few clips here. So she is absolutely obsessed with water right now. And it's just so exciting to see how she's growing as a person. And you can hear her right now screaming in her playroom. Um, this mama put on some mascara. It doesn't look as great now because I was outside sweating. Oakland baby, look at her, my little Oaky baby. So Oakland has been crying a little more than usual for the past two days, two to three days. I think today's three. I'm not really sure what's going on with her. I'm thinking it's probably teething. Uh, she is five months old, so that's a possibility. She's just been really whiny, really clingy, when wanting to eat extra. So, of course, for my body as a mommy who breastfeeds exclusively, um, it's really hard on me too because that means I have to eat more and I have to drink more water, and which is totally understandable. But the teething, I'm just not ready for it because it's a lot of work. Um, they constantly want to cluster feed and they're constantly crying and you have to figure out what's going on and um for the past two days her body has been really warm she doesn't have a fever but her body's just warm and so i'm giving her baths multiple times a day and trying to help her stay as comfortable as possible and then also i have two other bigger girls um who are constantly fighting so that is my little update um yeah, the house is still not decorated. So I've decided that the most of the um, stuff that I decorated my apartment with, I will not be using for this house because I just feel as if Peyton and I are a little bit more mature now. Now it's like when we walk in, um, I don't want too much writing on the wall, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want too much decorations on the wall that have writing with it. I want more plain, simple pictures. Just more of a calming factor when you come inside. Just to be really, like, like elegant. And P's over here with her dog. <laughs> Not gonna show because she doesn't have pants on. Go put your pants on. Oh. Okay, well, then they can't see you. Wait. Can you say hi? Wait. She likes to vlog. She, she, she talk. Oh, she's talking? Oh, I did yeah, put up I, those flat, um. Mommy, what is it? Yes, there's nothing else. See, there's literally nothing else in our house. Mommy, you have to ever up. Yeah, I have to decorate. You're right. Um, Daddy come home. Oh, yeah, we have to decorate before Daddy comes home? Yeah, no, no. Okay. Surprise daddy. The surprise daddy? Yeah. Well, there's nothing for us to decorate. Yeah. I need to get um, some command strips. We don't have any of those right now. But go check on your sister. She, she's okay. okay. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, um, so moving into the house, it's almost been a month. And how do I feel? How do we feel? And I'll like ask Peyton when he gets home too, because I want him to be a part of these vlogs too. Um... I think moving into the house motivated me a lot more, made me realize um, that I have more goals than, like this is not our forever home. We'll probably be here probably like three years. I don't know. I know it's gonna be more than one. We wanna build a barn and minium, and that is our goal is to build a barn and minium, buy a barn and minium, doesn't matter, just get out in the country where there's, I can have my horses. Um, 
for Sparkle My Yard. As y'all know, I own a yard sign company called Sparkle My Yard, and I absolutely love it. And so I am really thinking about expanding. Um, I have an, an idea of maybe I want to open up a, like a warehouse where I can keep all my signs Oh, it, it is exciting and it's nerve-wracking because I don't want to fail. But I know if I never try, I don't know if I'll know if I fail. And I've already... Yes, baby? Oh, take it to the vet. Take it to Emmy. She'll take care of it. Oh, you got medicine? Oh, so, I'm, I'm motivated and I'm going to stay motivated. Okay, can you go put pants on so I can put you in the vlog? Hold, hold this, pull it. Okay, hold on, hold on. This little puppy. Now pull it. There you go. There's, there's Pea's puppy. I like this dog. This dog um, doesn't eat, doesn't poop, and I can turn it off. <laughs> I'm gonna get annoyed. Yeah. Okay, go give her medicine. So, Wait, what, baby? Oh, you can't take this part off. Why? Oh, yes, you can. Ta grab the puppy. No, grab the puppy. Okay. I'm wearing the puppy's neck. Okay, got it off. There you go. Bye. So, that is my update today. Um, I know some people wanted to know about my car buying process and how, like, was it easy? Was it fun? How was it? Um, so I bought my car like two weeks ago, a week ago. Yeah, probably a week, yeah, a week ago. The car buying process was super easy, I will say. Um, make sure that you have all of your pay stubs already. Um, don't go buy a house and then go buy a car because the what I had, what was troubling for me was the fact that I have, we had just moved and nothing was changed out in, to my new address. Yes, baby. Nothing was changed out to my new address. So I had to pay extra for my ID. I had to pay extra for my ID to say that my current address uh, to get that rushed. And then I had to wait a while for my bank statements to... No, don't go in the water right now. Um, I had to wait for my bank statement to switch over to my new address so that they could get my new address, and which is a whole process. Um, and I do have a few clips that I will insert right after this of like the car buying process and me getting ready. And it was just, I would never want to forget that day because I'm so extremely proud of myself.
do you like mommy's car? Yeah. You ready to go? It's pretty. It's pretty? Yeah. Amy? Do you like mommy's car? No. Can you put pants on, please? Um, I never want to forget this day because I'm so extremely proud of myself. I am so grateful for my husband who helped me. I'm so grateful for my parents who encouraged me to get this car. Um, I'm extremely grateful for my mom. For almost a year and a half, my mom would go to my apartment and pick me up and they take me to her house within her 10 minute break. So mom, you're watching this. Thank you so much for mom, sacrificing. Wait, wait. Yes, baby. Please open this. Watching this. Thank you so much, mom, for dedicating um, taking the time to come pick me up from the apartment, come pick up my girls, and let me use your car for all of my appointments for my pregnancy, all the appointments for the girls, um, just everything you have done for me for the past year and a half. Thank you so much, Dad, for always encouraging me to do better, for pushing me to um, get a car, for answering my phone calls when I was looking at countless cars, for guiding me in the path that I don't need to buy a $700 car a month. Um, just, you know, helping me grow up. And I really appreciate my parents so much. So if y'all and y'all are watching this, thank you, mom and dad. I could not have gotten this far without y'all. Um, and I am so excited now that I have a car. And I, it's just, it was a freedom that I hadn't had in forever. And I'm so excited to say that I have my own car and I can drive places and I can keep my girls safe. I remember one time, um, it scared me really bad. I was living in the apartment and I had all three girls. So Oakland was a newborn and she was probably less than a month old. Peyton was at work and the fire alarms went off and it was extremely cold outside and I didn't know if it was real or not and I had no car so I couldn't just get in my car and leave and go to my mom's. So I had to wait in the apartment. I like we cut off all the you know the TVs and everything and I was just sitting there waiting for like a firefighter to come knock on my door to see if it was real. And and I know that some people are like, "Well, why didn't you just go outside in the patio?" And I did and I kept my babies inside. Um, because like I said, it was freezing. It was like 34 degrees outside. I remember it was like really, really cold. Oakland was like two weeks old. I mean, I wasn't going to just go outside with a two week old baby for no reason. And then it would just, it made me, it just made me really scared because I know some people are like, well, it's better than being burned alive. And, but they don't understand what you don't understand is my apartments, they constantly turn on the fire alarms and I, I don't know why. And most of the time, they're just for drills. And I was so furious because I didn't know if it was a drill. So I called the front office. And they're like, yeah, it's just one of our drills. Like, it's going to be on for an hour. Um, we're going to have people come in and check your fire alarms. And I'm like, why wouldn't you tell people? That's Amy. Pete, go, go see what your sister needs. Um, I'm like, why wouldn't you tell your residence that a fire alarm is going to be going on for an hour and it's not real. Like, just, it was just very frustrating to me. Um, so, now if the fire alarm goes off, I can just go outside in my backyard. <sighs> oh, and then the other reason why I didn't want to just stand outside is because where we were in our apartment, um, we were right there next to the street, like the road where people can come in and out. And, <sighs> The people at my old apartment drove like they did not know what a speed limit was. They didn't know what five miles an hour was. They drove like if they, they drove as if someone was chasing them. Like there's so many times where we almost got into a wreck at our old apartment. It was just, just, it was just crazy. And yeah. Okay. But I don't want to bash on my old apartment. I, we loved living there. It was fun. Um, now we're in a beautiful house. So that's, that's my little update for y'all. Um, 
I want to start setting goals. I want to post more. I want to connect with y'all. I want to talk about my postpartum journey. I want to talk about my future pregnancies and pregnancies. Ooh, no, my, okay, so I want to talk about like, hello, this is Emmy. You need pants, Aunt P. I'm not putting you on camera without pants on. Emmy. Uh, uh, go put pants on. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel because I am evolving, I'm growing, I'm still thriving. I am growing up as my babies are growing up. This little one's birthday is next month. Like how am I old enough to have a four year old? birthday. You wanna, oh. <laughs> He just threw water on my phone and now she's calling me rude. Y'all, I have a four-year-old next month um, and I can't even believe it. Just even sit back and realize that I've been a mom for almost four years. Every, oh, Emmy. Emmy never fails to spill something. Emmy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you take daddy's shirt? Look, take daddy's shirt and put it on the floor. Take daddy's shirt with his socks and put it on the floor. Wipe it up. <laughs> just just lay it on the floor, baby. The, the shirt will do the rest. Emmy never fails. She spills something every single day. Every single day. Yeah, that's dirty. Don't mess with that. Every single day she spills something, so. Don't mess with that, baby. Yeah. So, thank y'all again for following my journey. I am so excited to start doing more videos and see my kids grow and just become part of the YouTube family and the YouTube community. And you know what? This is real life. This is me. I When you click on my channel, you know you will get the real raw version of me. I will never sugarcoat anything. Um, I'm getting my office situated so that my videos can look better. I'm getting, I'm going to start using my camera in my office. I want to start doing videos of like talking about postpartum and what they don't tell you about after birth and what moms have to go through. Because I know personally, um, when I gave birth to my first daughter, Peyton, almost four years ago, I had no idea about postpartum. I mean... I looked up, I read things, but nothing compares you to when you go through it yourself. The diapers, the ex yes and me, just everything, and I will go through that to stay on the lookout. Um, I just hope y'all are surviving and thriving and just great. I'm a mom of three and this is me and oh my gosh, my kids are going to drive me crazy. So if you want... You want to follow along on my journey? Subscribe because this is Bye. it. <laughs> Bye, guys. It's gonna straighten out once it, once the water turns on, right? Look at my man's. I am a girl. Look, look, it's turning on. Daddy has it turning on. So, how is my s'mores dip? Emmy, baby, what do you want? Okay, hold on.
Go, run. Get him, Emmy. Yes, turn this on. Is it good, Pete? I like no, the baby's over here. Sleeping? Yeah, she's sleeping. Mm -hmm. So I made the girls some oven Mommy, s'mores. You just scoop out and look, now you got a little baby s'more. Isn't that delicious? So all y'all do is you put your Hershey's on the bottom. Mommy, you mommy? layer some Let's marshmallows break on top. It. I need to break it. <laughs> I need to break it. Okay, break it, baby. You layer some marshmallows on top yeah, and you mommy, put it in the it. oven yeah. on broil, on high broil for one minute. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't want any cake, y'all. Mmm, is it good?